Okay, this is a great tutorial on a great tool how to use any monitor, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad or a computer monitor, <clears throat> as a light table or enlarger for transferring artwork to a larger piece of paper. And before the drawing police attack me and say tracing is cheating, there are reasons why you would want to use this technique. So I'm going to show you how to do it, and as I'm doing it, I'm going to explain some reasons that you may need to or want to use this as a tool. Okay, so you can use any picture and you need to enlarge it on your screen. And you could have your 11 by 14 paper ready or 20 by 36 paper ready. And you just have to enlarge the photo to the size you need it. So you make it big like this, close up, zoom in, whatever. Find the top corner or bottom corner of the picture on your monitor. And you can hold a ruler up to it Right now I'm just using a piece of paper, pretending it's a ruler. And okay, so see where the paper meets the wave? I'm going to slide the ruler and the picture with the wave over. So I'm going to move it, move it, move it till it's at the edge of my screen. And now I can move my ruler over and until I get to 16 inches or 24 inches or however wide I want it to be. Then I do the same thing vertically. So I get the picture the exact size I want it and here I'm going to go about 11 by 14 and you might want it exactly 11 by 14 if you plan on framing this 11 by 14 and then you just put your paper over it. Here I'm using watercolor paper and then you could start tracing the image. You could trace as little or as much as you want to trace. Maybe you just want to do the outline of the bodies to make sure you get the arms in correct proportion with the body. Or maybe you want to draw the whole image and, you know, shade in where the water is or draw where the creases are exactly on that shirt or where the footprints are, or the size of the footprints, or where the shadows are of the footprints. So, while I draw this, while I trace this, I will address the drawing police that say, this is cheating! No, it's not! And here are some reasons you will want to use this tool. There are watercolor artists that transfer their image with carbon paper or some other type of transferring. And the reason they do this is because when you're working with watercolor paper, they put something on the surface of watercolor paper to accept the paint and not ruin the paper. You can't see it on the surface, but it's there. And if you draw lines and erase too many times, you're going to rub this surface away. And you don't want to take that surface away. So you need to get it right the first time. So they transfer the image. Well, this is another way to do that. Another reason you might want to do this is... You have time constraints, like say tomorrow's Father's Day, and you're not going to make the art. Maybe I'm going to draw this out so my daughter and her dad could color this together with crayons instead of a coloring book page. It's a great idea to give someone else who doesn't have a trained eye that might want to draw or color in this image. Like people use those adult coloring books, why not provide this 
as an alternative to an adult coloring book. I see no problem with that. Maybe you have kids that come into your art class at recess that don't have any art skills that quote can't draw and maybe they're not taking your art class to learn proportion or maybe you're teaching values and textures so the proportion part of this isn't important to teach and you want them to draw this out quickly so you can get on to the values or proportions. And, you know, and then I'll have a whole other lesson on a hack for seeing tones easier. You can convert this color image to black and white so they see the exact gray tones and the exact gray scales that they need to achieve. Because it's much harder and it takes a different skill to convert a color image or a color still light to a black and white image. I'll probably use their iPads. I'll have them use their iPads as a skill, or not as a skill, as a tool for transferring something to paper. I'll have them take a selfie of themselves with their iPad and then use this technique to enlarge the selfie. I could have them make a huge selfie of 24 by 36 and get all the proportions exactly right before they start drawing their values. And there are National Court Art Standards that you could apply on lessons like this. There are a few standards on how to use technology as a tool or how to use a tool in a different way. This still helps them with eye-hand coordination, moving the paper, seeing something, and here Okay, so now I'm showing how to move the picture and I traced her head, moved the paper in the exact spot to make sure I have the head where I want it, moved the picture down, and now I'm drawing the horizon line. And I can move the drawing down again, keeping her head where I traced it. I move the picture down and then I move my drawing down where the head was on the drawing. And then I continue to draw the rest of the picture. Um, okay, so the art standards are VA CR 2.1.6A or VA PR 5.1.5A or VA PR.4.1.7A. So there's a sixth grade, fifth grade, and seventh grade standard to use this tool on. I don't have a problem with it. I really don't. And I think we're almost getting to the end here. So um, let me see if I had all my reasons. Some people have depth perception issues and just can't, can't, perceive depth. Uh, let's see. So now I'm showing you the drawing and what I got by doing this. Trying to get it in focus here with the camera. Backing up a little bit. It's, it's hard to get this camera to focus on a, a picture in the dark, but you get the idea. And I still have to get my values right when I color it. And I still have to try to draw the smooth texture of the sand to make it different than the texture of the water. And to make the up-close water texture different than the far away 
water texture or values. So this is not cheating. The drawing police can shut up. I know they will troll this and put crazy comments below on why this is a horrible idea. But I've just listed some valid reasons. And this is not to replace learning how to draw. This is just a tool that you might need for a different art lesson. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe because I will have plenty of more art room teacher hacks or ideas for different new ways to use technology or other tools in the art room.